Good afternoon. How are you all doing this? Oh, well, it's the middle of the day. It's about 1.32 p.m. where I'm at. Where are you all watching from? It's all about dark circles today. And welcome to our pop-up weekdays with Chichi Beauty. So we are going to dive into talking about dark circles. And we're going to throw some puffy eyes and eye bags remedy in the mix today now if you struggle with dark under eye circles this one is for you and if you don't have dark under eye circles and you just want to wake your eyes up then this show is for you we have about seven natural ingredients seven natural remedies that we're going to share today and these remedies are tested and proven and i personally use all of these remedies that i'm going to share and that is the reason why i know that most of them work really really fast while some might be a little slower but these that i have are the creme of the crop so you definitely will have you know, um, amazing result once you use them on a regular. Now, as I like to tell people, these are not magic. They are simple remedies that can get the job done, but it take work, okay? It take a little bit of a work. And the work that it takes is mean that you need to apply it on your under eyes daily. Now, before we start to share the remedy, let's get this out of the way. Any remedy that you wanna work on the skin, whether you're using it on on your under eyes or you are using it on the rest of your face you always need to make sure that your skin is clean clean skin is is the best way to go when your skin is clean it allow the products to absorb in the skin better and that's what we are going to be sharing with you today products that can absorb in the skin now where are you all watching from hi claudia i see you with your little snow showers today and you know snowstorm not showers need to get your your little shoveling out we have jason here welcome to the live jason we have margaret margaret is here and jill was here pretty pretty early hi jill i hope you're having a great day what's going on with my mouse okay now it's back up and running and we also have keisha hello keisha stella welcome to the live tts here roxanne hi roxanne i noticed you'll be watching all the videos roxanne and you're commenting and that's what i like i i do sometimes not um i don't get a chance to respond to all the comment but sometimes i browse a true and i always see who is always is commenting and I'm thinking that Roxanne actually have the goal for this uh, month. You have been like since last month, you have been watching, watching and commenting. And I just want to thank you for that. And I appreciate all of you that watches the videos and um, share the videos and comment. And also, Claudia, I notice when people ask questions, you respond for me. And I'm so grateful for that. Always, always know that I do appreciate that. And if you're watching from another country and it's not and your language is not english and you watch my video and you can translate them like the recipes go ahead translate them in the comment i'm also will be thankful for that so with that out of the way it's not a long show today we're having a quick little um show veronica is here uh, veronica you have not come back to that zoom meeting neither claudia and i hope to see you all on friday Friday and our Zoom, pretty awesome blossom. Now, for those of you who do our Zoom, we are now going to send the emails from pretty awesome blossom. So when you look out for your notification, notice that is going to come from the email, pretty awesome blossom. So just, you know, to let you guys be aware of that. Just Misha, welcome to our live. Now, if you struggle with dark on the eye circles, go ahead and comment. Today I brought natural ingredients here. I have a whole bunch of stuff right in front of me because I find that when I talk and I show you things, it's better. Deborah watching from South Carolina. Welcome. Um, RT watching watching from Arizona. And um, um, I don't know if I dropped the B on your name, but I'm gonna drop the H. So Avana, um, Rao watching from Canada. Welcome to the show, Joyce House from Texas. We also have um, who else is here? Um, watching from where? Anyway, 
let's move on now the remedies that i have here today you can choose to mix some of them together or you can also choose to use them as a standalone we have some fresh ones and we have some store-bought ones but they're all amazing for clearing up your dark on the eye circles and just so you know today after this show i have an amazing recipe for dark on the eye circles which i'm gonna post i'm gonna post it about two hours after this show is over it's an overnight leave on remedy that you can just dab under your eyes and i actually use it this morning dab it under your eyes go to sleep with it wake up rinse off use it for seven days straight and it's gonna help with eye bags puffy eyes and dark on the eye circles so I have a little bowl here. I don't know if I'm going to be mixing anything, but I just brought it just in case. And I'm going to just dive in. I'm going to share one ingredient that a lot of you have and some of you don't know that you can use it for your dark on the eye circles. As a matter of fact, I would suggest any one of you can get your hands on this to always have one in your skincare collection. This is the Jamaican black castor oil. And the black castor oil is amazing for your skin on a whole. Most people tend not to use the castor oil because when you sniff at it like this, ah, I don't know anyone who really like the scent of the um, black castor oil. I personally don't. Now, black castor oil is versatile and when i say versatile i mean it is extremely versatile and that's why you should definitely have it in your collection when i was a child growing up they used to give us a teaspoon of this black castor oil now i'm not here to tell you to go start taking castor oil whatever you need to go take please make sure to consult your doctor. Now with that out of the way, let's get back to this castor oil and how amazing it is. Now I used to have to take a teaspoon, my grandmother as a matter of fact, not my mother, my grandmother used to give it to us, all her grandkids. And that is because it helped the gut. It helped to clean the gut. It just helped your system on a whole. So that is one amazing benefit that you can get from the castor oil. Not only that, the castor oil is great for your hair it actually helped to regrow those bald spots it helped thinning here is good with dandruff and guess what is also good for your eyebrows and your eyelashes this will help because they seep right into that here follicles and help to grow your hair this castor oil is also great for your nails this is not a sponsored video we are just sharing you know um i'm just sharing some of the things i use for my dark on the eye circles while sharing the many benefits of this castor oil my own personal castor oil now this castor oil is also great for your nails if you find that you have crack brickle nails go ahead get this castor oil use on your nails now here's a quick tip for some of you you have chopped lips get a little bit of a petroleum jelly a little bit of the castor oil mix it in it and just use it on that crack lips rich in antimycin rich in antibacterial properties just a great ingredient to use on your skin overall but what you are not clear on is that this is amazing for dark under eye circles now let's share a little history about this castor oil why it is so good for your skin on a whole reduce dark on the eye circles and puffy eyes reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the skin lift tighten and firm the skin and all you ladies out there that are looking for a, a, a good month a good month wink wink if you know what i mean a teaspoon of the castor oil will also cut down on that griping and uh, the mood swing and all of that good stuff so guess what guys the reason why the black castor oil is great for the under eyes even so more than the white castor oil is because there is this ingredient rinsolilic acid which is in this castor oil and in order for it to activate you have to roast the castor beans when the castor beans are roast they start to have this 
amazing smell that we really do not like. However, that is because that acid has been activated. Now, when you get that acid and you use it under your dark under eye circles, that is what's going to have to clear it up. You can choose to use the castor oil standalone, or you can choose to mix it with other ingredients like we share on this channel. And we have some recipes under um, our playlist, dark under eye circles, puffy eyes and eye bags that you can check out. But here is the trick, guys. If you take this castor oil, and it doesn't matter what brand you use, and that is what it's going to look like. A good black castor oil is going to look um, not black. Well, when it's in a pile, it's look black. But when you put it on your hands, it's going to have this kind of a orangey kind of a look. Now, what you can actually do with this castor oil, you can use it directly on the... For those of you with eye bags, check this one out. Eye bags and puffy eyes, this is for you. So you take that castor oil and you warm it in your hands. Yes, it is already roasted, meaning that it's already have that heat source. I always, always recommend when you're using castor oil to warm it it works better and it penetrate deep into that epidermis way way better than if you just apply it like that I do however know that the skin is hot 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 but you know it works faster so you warm that castor oil in your hands and just one drop and a good castor oil is gonna feel sticky like this like really 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 sticky and that's why you only need a little bit of it and you just take it and you dab it under your eyes like this on clean skin so dab that castor oil under your eyes and you do the little trick if you're a regular watcher to my channel you know that da 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 and once you dab it under your eyes you go to sleep with it and you use it as often as you can now here's a little trick guys this is a little beauty secret if you have your regular store-bought eye cream, take a drop of this castor oil and add it to it, mix it up like a little bit in your hands like that and dab it under your eyes. It will have. Now, the only downside, because everything have a positive and everything have a negative, the, the downside to this that is very thick and it's a little greasy and it do not smell good. That is all. And if you can deal with just the little greasiness and also the scent of this, go ahead and use it up and you're on your way to a good clear under eyes. Now I have a quick recipe for you. If you can get your hands and some cucumber juice or some green tea, guess what? What you need to do, one tablespoon of green tea, about a half a teaspoon of this. You have a little blender or a whisk. You whisk it up and then you get a cotton pod, you know, like some cotton pods like Oh, I'm so lucky today. I have this right here. Like some cotton pods like this. And you soak it in the green tea and the castor oil. You place it over your eyes and just sit and relax with it like you're at the spa. Best done on the weekend when you have the time for it. So you just place it over your eyes like this. Chill out, you know, meditate or something. And that is going to have to shrink the puffy eyes and also the tired eyes. You're up all night on your computer. Get that green tea a little dark off the castor oil in it place it over your eyes relax you know think about something fancy something nice and this will help so if you can get your hands and castor oil you know you need it in your collection okay and as i said doesn't matter what brand once you have it so that is one of my little beauty remedy that i use under my under eyes now if you have a question for me go ahead and come in jason black castor oil remind me of my childhood <laughs> and i guess you were getting some from your grandmama too now auntie thank you for your live show today you're welcome sandra my mom used to um my my mother used to most likely give it to you all nasty yes but really really good now please remember if you're just joining to give us a thumbs up you know give us a like and also don't forget to comment 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 um risa watching from trinidad hello deborah oh, welcome to the live hi 
I have not seen you for so long. Where have you been, Dev? I think you were on a few um, days ago, but correct me if I'm wrong. I am A-I-K-O-P, watching from Nigeria. Welcome to our live. If you have any comment or if you know anything about the castor oil, the Jamaican black castor oil, go ahead and comment. One thing I never have a research, which I probably need to do, I need to do a research where else have this castle been because i don't think it's just jamaica right so um but it's mostly known most places that you see black castor oil is always like from you know jamaica but they do grow a lot of this castor beans okay and it just grow wild like some places it just grow wild while now you know if you're gonna make castor oil you know they do the cultivation of it so we are moving on to our next eye remedy any question and dark on the eye circles comment Go ahead, ask your question. I am gonna take the questions while sharing the, the 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 remedies that I have here with you. And Trini is watching from the from New York. I see better late than never. Margaret, yes, I suggest the remedy of massaging the oil on the skin for a good month to family members, and it works. So here is a comment guys for you so this is what we're talking about as i said it's not magic it is natural so you need to use it on a regular give it time to work on the skin as a matter of fact if you have any skincare products that you're using whether you are using your own homemade skincare products or you're using the store-bought skincare products you need to give it at least six weeks to work. So I know some of you like when you get a remedy that work instantly, but if you go out there in the skincare world, they're gonna tell you it's at least six weeks before you can claim that it did not work. I do know that some of my remedies work way faster than that, but if I have to do it a professional way, I would need to tell you that it's six weeks for these things to work. So don't use it for a week and come back and condemn the remedy or condemn the beauty cream or condemn your store bought stuff and say, oh, they don't work because you want instant result. If you want instant result, it means that you might have to go do some form of a laser treatment or something like that, which still you might, after you do it, you have to give it time to heal, which is gonna take another week or two. So definitely time, 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 time. Now, um, Scanable, S-C-H-N-A-B-L-E. My grandmother used to give it to us as kids. And definitely it is for a reason. And it's also help with worms and all those kind of things um, that comes with um, children. So if you're just joining us, welcome to our live show. We're talking about dark on the eye circles today, eye bags and puffy eyes. We're sharing some tips, some remedies that you can use to get rid of and also to control. So we just talk about castor oil. Now take a look at what I have here. If you know anything about this, this is my little piece of fresh aloe vera gel, okay? Well, I normally say fresh aloe vera gel, but it's a fresh piece of aloe leaf. And this is what it looks like. And if you know anything about dark on the eye circles, you would know that this is an amazing natural remedy to use for your under eyes. The aloe vera gel. This aloe vera gel can help to transform your skin, not only your under eyes, but your entire body. And just like the castor oil, the aloe vera is great for your hair, your nails, good for sunburn. It's just is an all-rounder and if you was to do your research you'd find that one of the most widely used ingredient in skincare product probably the top of the list is aloe vera gel most at least 75 percent of your skincare product is going to contain aloe vera gel and it's for a reason it's like the, if you wanted to call something magic or any ingredient that you think is magical, then it would be the aloe vera gel. Now, if you don't believe what I'm saying, turn over your beauty cream right now and read the ingredient. Bet your bottom dollar you might see aloe vera gel um, in it. And it comes under the name of what? Barbacina, some, some, something. I can't pronounce it um, unless I see it in front of me. But this, guys, this aloe vera gel, whether you're using the fresh one or you're using the store-bought, 
it is good for dark on the eye circles, puffy eyes and eye bags. Now here is my little trick. Whenever you're using a rinse off, like you're going to make a solution that you can use and soak it up with this cotton pad, then you can go ahead and use a fresh aloe vera gel. If you're trying to make like an eye serum or eye cream, you can go ahead and you can use the store-bought aloe vera gel. You can still use a fresh aloe vera gel for your leave-on. It's just that your remedy is not going to last you no more than about seven days or so. Now, you can actually cut, and I didn't bring a cut in tool right here with me today you can actually cut this aloe vera take out the gel and rub it under your eyes or you can choose to mix it with other ingredients by blending it and making a solution for your under eyes now when you have your fresh aloe vera gel growing in your backyard some of you do or some of you have to actually go buy it like i go buy it and almost everywhere here in new york city you can find aloe vera gel in the grocery store believe it or not every single grocery store that i've been in i see aloe vera gel when it comes down to pricing though it's a little different some places like when i buy bought this leaf here i pay like 150 because i went to this special supermarket but other supermarket to go you might find some for 125 135 a dollar well i haven't seen it for a dollar for a long time but like ever since COVID, it's like 125, 135, 140, 150. But depending on where you live, if you have access to the aloe vera, use it up, guys. It is good. And here is another, this is a disclaimer again, guys. We are not doctors here, but I'm just going to share something that is good that you can do also with this aloe vera gel. Cleansing from the outside, cleansing the inside. If you are brave enough, you can actually take a little piece of this aloe vera gel just a little piece run about a teaspoon of the fresh aloe vera and you can just take it like a tablet like that it also have to clean the inside out and it have a lot of other medicinal value that you can get for it remember anything you're going to take consult your doctor first so definitely a must how you use the aloe vera for dark on the eye circles and puffy eyes a little slather of it blend it up and then you just um, rub it over your eyes or you mix it with, let's say, the castor oil that we just talked about. These two combined will give you a good remedy, whether you're using the store-bought aloe vera gel or the fresh. For the fresh aloe vera gel, shorter shelf life. For the store-bought, longer shelf life. So if I'm going to mix it with the castor oil for overnight, then I would use the store-bought. But use up this aloe vera gel. So this is another way to get your under eyes to look good. We're going to share some more recipes now i'm moving on and look what i brought out here today my little leftover coffee how many of you drink coffee are you like a coffee person <laughs> yes i i am like a coffee person but of late i haven't been doing a lot of coffee because i'm on this kind of a water diet to be honest with you guys like i'm just trying to drink a lot of water and i'm trying to cut you know all the sugar and you know what comes with trying to get my skin to look good and also my body to look right for summer yes no honestly i'm not really doing it for summer i'm doing it for me i want to feel you know energized and all of dad and i i'm definitely detoxing because i you know feel a little sluggy and with you know sitting down for two years when i say sitting down i mean you know not being up and about like we are accustomed to doing is kind of take a toll thank you for your contribution deb for contributing five dollars to our channel yes so i'm kind of detoxing so i'm cutting out of the coffee for drinking that is but when it comes on to my skin I am definitely into the coffee for the skin. Now, coffee and the video that I'm going to share after the show, I'm using the coffee for this eye overnight treatment. So when you get this coffee, guys, this is freshly brewed. And someone was asking on the comment section recently, what is the difference between freshly brewed coffee and also um, and the, what they call that? The instant coffee. Instant coffee is already brewed, okay? Instant coffee, they brew it like how they brew this one, and then they crystallize it. So they put it through a process, and that's how you get it flaky. And sometimes that's why you see some coffee that more, the instant coffee that
that have a little kind of a glass look to it and some more on the powdery end but most so for the instant it have this kind of a crystal because they brew it and then they take the brew coffee and turn it into that by adding you know some form of a i'm gonna use the word chemical okay it's okay for me to use the word chemical but it's you know chemical that is friendly to the system and that is how you get that instant coffee so most of the time i'm like don't use the instant coffee use the freshly brewed coffee the reason for that is that this is just made this is just made your your instant coffee could have been brewed like you know six months ago or even 10 months ago so most people don't know that i realize that most people don't know the process of the um the instant coffee versus the freshly brewed coffee now why i personally is a freshly brewed coffee person is the fact that I grew up in the beautiful island of Jamaica. And my grandma, we have something that you call coffee walk or coffee peace, or we have coffee on our properties. That's enough to sell okay so we used to sell coffee and um well my grandmother used to sell coffee so we have a lot of coffee on the properties on the way they used to you know send the guys them out and they pick the coffee in buckets and stuff like that and a big old truck is gonna come and um like every tuesday the truck come and all of the bucket of the coffee lay out and they come and they stick a ruler in it because they pay you by the inches yes the good old days so i'm used to fresh coffee and maybe that's that's why I'm still into the fresh coffee. We never normally put it in a process. They um, parch. We use the word parch, which is really roasting. They get this big old pot. They put it over outside and with four big stone. They throw that coffee in there and somebody have a big spoon and they stir and they stir and they stir and they stir. And, they stir. and that is how you get the one that you could get in the grocery to buy. And like now, we never normally had any flavor to it, but people now had like the hazelnut flavor, the vanilla flavor and all of that good stuff so that is uh, just a little history my background where coffee is concerned today i have to buy coffee believe it or not oh my goodness but go back to the dark on the eye circles when you find that you have the dark on the eye circles if you can get your hands and some fresh coffee okay now you don't have to have a coffee maker to make fresh coffee just ground get the ground one that is also good you don't have to buy the beans like me i just don't give me the brown i've got to get the fresh beans i want to see that is coffee beans and let me share a little tip with you guys don't say i tell you this however one of the reasons why i personally prefer to buy coffee beans is because the ground coffee is mixed with corn and some of you don't know that so let's say you have 10 pounds of um coffee beans they're gonna throw at least a pound probably not a pound probably a half a pound or so but volume speak of corn in it and then they're gonna grind all of that together because corn is cheaper way cheaper than coffee but when you get it you could never ever tell that there is corn in it and that is the reason why i prefer to get the whole bean like this and since i'm jamaican i normally and as a little promotion for my Jamaican coffee. It is actually um, rated as one of the best um, coffee in the world. Anyway, back to, um, I, I probably need to have a coffee show, right? So anyway, back to the, and some of you didn't know that, the Blue Mountain Coffee. Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee is rated. And go research it as soon as I'm done. Best coffee in the world. And that's what I like to drink. I do buy coffee here, but when my family come in, bags and bags of coffee coming for me. Anyway, let's move on dark on the eye circle so you take this coffee and i'm going to demonstrate really quick for you what you can do with this coffee now there goes my bowl you have the coffee right in here and you can go ahead mix it with some others like the video i'm going to share after the show and i have another oil here and let me show you you can just and this one i'm going to feature which is a sweet almond oil it is one of the better oil to use for your dark on the eye circles and you can actually mix them together you can pour the castor oil in this also and you take your cotton pad two of them and you dip it in and you soak it up now anything that i use under my eyes i like when it's cold 
it's actually just awake it's, it's just something about when it is cold so once you soak it in it like that and you just squeeze out the little excess just squeeze it out like that and and especially if you're short on time this is a good one for you you have somewhere to go and your eyes look tired are you just finished crying and you have some people coming over and you don't want them to know you're crying you grab that copy and you just place it over your eyes like this and when you do this i like to just pat it on over my eyes and this one is cold believe it or not and it has been out of of the 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 um the whatever i brew it on for a while but it's cold and then you just oh this feel really good i'm not joking it's really true that's why i like it when it's cold and you just pat it on the like that and you just sit back with it and you relax with it for at least 15 minutes or more I bad people out there, this one is for you. Puffy eyes, tired eyes, you do this. While you're doing this, it's also going to help with the wrinkles under the eyes and it's going to help to get rid of those dark on the eye circles. How often should you use this coffee? As often as you can. If you're the type of person that do your regular skincare routine, your AM or your PM, and you have this coffee at hand, just what I just did like that will help. It will help. You, you know, even if you're short on time, you do it for five minutes you're good to go when you wake up with that eye bath for some of you who didn't get enough sleep and you don't normally have eye bags but when you wake up you see that little puffiness under there just get that coffee when you're mixing your little coffee in your cup you know just pour some on the side put an ice cube in it if you're short on time and dip that cotton pad in it and put it over your eyes like this and just dab it on like that and leave it on for a few minutes and you are good to go but if you want treatment for it that is gonna get the dark on the eye uh, circles we have a video coming up after this that you can watch and that is gonna actually change the game we're using the coffee in that and we're using some other ingredient so that it is for the coffee if you have a question if you have tried any of my coffee recipe go ahead and comment guys any of my coffee recipe that you have tried comment 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 let me hear from you but this one really works for me another thing that i mix this with and you guys I know I'm crazy about this um, ingredient, which is the parsley. You blend the coffee and pour the, um, put the parsley in the blender, pour some coffee in it, blend it up, juice it out, and put the cotton pods in it just so with a little dab of oil, and you're on your way to dark on the ice circles. I suggest that you do both. You do the leave on and you do the treatment, okay? The treatment, you need to give it time to work. It need at least 10, 15 to 30 minutes on your under eyes for you to get results. So find time what to do the leave on, which is the one you use with a cotton pad. But the, the not the leave on, the, the treatment, but the leave on, you can put it on and you can use it at night, which is really good for you. Now, Jill, is aloe vera gel better than aloe vera oil? I do have the aloe vera oil. I have the aloe vera oil and have been using it, but I am still all for the aloe vera gel because that's more natural. The aloe vera oil is through a process and they do have the cold press, however, but I'm going to come back another day, Jill, and I'm going to share how they really make this aloe vera oil with you all. And then we're going to decide which we think is better. But I use both i use well i use all three the fresh the, the 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 gel and also the um the store bought now one of the reasons why i don't share a lot of remedies with the aloe vera oil is because i realize most people don't have it so i try not to you know hype it up too much and i'm still discovering it so i'm still on the fence i'm not sure exactly how i feel about it to be honest um uh, it's like a mix it's, it's it's kind of a mix so if i'm comfortable I i'm gonna try another brand also to see how i feel about it but right now i'm still a little on the fence about it all right guys so let's move on since there's no comment going on roxon i use coffee carrot parsley leaves and cucumber and tell us about this roxon how they, did it really work for you nearly um how write down these recipe down for us and 
If you want a um, written recipe, go on my website, chichibeauty.com, and you're going to find some of these recipes. I try to keep up. Not all is there, but some of them is there, especially the popular ones, and you will get it in full glory on my website. All right? So let's. any other question for me? If you're just joining, we're sharing some tips on how to get rid of dark on the eye circles. As a matter of fact, we're sharing natural ingredients that you can use. And if you're just coming on and you didn't give us a thumbs up, go ahead and thumbs. Oh, how to brew coffee without the machine. Thank you for bringing me back to that. Very, very easy. So what you're going to do, you are going to get your ground coffee. If you don't have the grinder, you buy ground and you are going to, you know, depends if you like it strong, weak, whatever. So let's say you take a tablespoon of that coffee. You put that tablespoon of coffee in a cup and then you pour eight ounces of water on it you cover it with file paper and you leave it there for about five minutes then you go take it up you strain it off that's freshly brewed coffee for you right there all it takes is hot water and you let it sit in it when you use the coffee maker what is happening is that the coffee maker is dripping that hot water on the coffee slowly like slowly dripping hot water and that's how it brew so if you have the time you can also drip it slowly in the cup and then you cover it and you let it sit and then you strain it off preferably with a cheesecloth or something and there you get freshly brewed coffee try it for yourself and you know you probably will put the coffee um the coffee maker <laughs> out of business now when i was growing up we didn't have coffee maker no, we didn't. I'm going to be honest with you. We didn't have coffee maker, even though we have so much coffee. Because how my granny make the coffee is that she put that pot of water on. Yes, a big pot that all of her children could get coffee. And when the water start to boil up, she just dumped that coffee in it. And right away after she dumped the coffee in the boiling water, she just take it off of the stove top, cover it a little and leave it there. Probably about 15 minutes or so, she go back and she strain it up. It tastes better than brew coffee. Any one of you ever have that? Comment and let me hear from you. You, 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 you know anything about that? Comment, comment, comment. Tastes better. Totally different taste, okay? All right, so I'm moving on. And if you know, you know. If you don't, you know. But it do taste good. All right, so we are moving on. Um, um, Sharika, Chichi, I'm a new subscriber. I am from San Francisco and I was actually talking about San Francisco yesterday and welcome to our live and welcome to our channel and remember that you're free to ask as many questions as you want you are now a subscriber so take part comment watch our videos leave your comment you like this you don't like that just be yourself over here and welcome and thank you for subscribing and Ilma know about that good and joy yes you know your stuff thank you so much for that um Roxanne is very refreshing and my eyes are not tired anymore I love this mixture so this is the mixture that Roxanne is using and she shared on the on the live chat and I know that that is a good mixture but sometimes when I'm be like oh guys it's good I like when other people use them and tell you that yes I use it and it is actually very very good if you have not yet give this video a thumbs up go ahead and thumbs the video up I could see that Claudia is sleeping today our little one day off oh so claudia knew about the corn too corn is everything corn and soy is everywhere okay corn and soy nowadays everything i get i'm turning it over and looking like oh my goodness soy corn and soy is everywhere and we can't get rid of it sophia b why wow, it's amazing everything have a filler yes 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 all right so we are moving on if you have any question comment and come on guys now start thumbs in the video if you forget to thumbs it up go ahead thumbs it up that's how the system know that you're enjoying the show and that is how you show other people that you're enjoying the show so go ahead comment 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 and while you're doing it don't forget to thumbs it up and if you're here for the first time and you have not yet subscribed go ahead subscribe to the channel so you don't miss some of these live show um hi auntie in it welcome to our live kimberly welcome and we have um um 
Ivan start Ivan, you know what? It's because I'm having my live show. I'm not going to read your comment because I don't want them to 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 put a flag on my channel for your comment. But guess what? <laughs> guess what? It's kind of true. It's kind of true. But I don't want to take over the show with this coffee conversation. But if I was to dive into that, I probably would be saying the same thing that you are saying because uh, you know, depending on where you live, you're not supposed to give it to kids. And anyway, back to, to this. Let me just dive out to that because if we start talking about that today, we are going to be here for another two hours because it's going to be a lot of different, different reaction. But I myself start drinking at a very young age. Um, Not alcohol. Oh, that came off wrong, right? That came off really, really wrong. We're talking about coffee, guys. We're talking about coffee. All right, let's, you know, before I get myself in trouble, let's move on to potato. All right. It's best to talk about potato than coffee, right? All right. So let's move on. Let's move on. All right. Um, potato. You know something, guys? I actually bought these potatoes since December. And I was looking at this potato. I, anyway, I had it. I had the bag of potato. Well, it's not a bag. I take it out of the bag and I put it on a tray I have. And I have it at the window. And this potato is as fresh as it gets. Like, it's so fresh. I was looking at like, this potato is not aging. So it means that it might have something good for the skin. It's not the pot Okay, sometimes you get some potato and within a week or two, the potatoes start to look widow. We use the word widow, just sibble up and all of that. Yes, I'm Jamaican, so I'm going to say sibble up. And um, raggedy looking and some of them start to rot and all of that. But this potato here, look how green it is. <laughs> But guess what? I actually bought these potato and I didn't realize they were organic potato. Anyway, so maybe something about it. But yes, potato, potato, potato. If you could get your hands and potato, and depending on where you live, this might be Irish. You know, it might be white potato. It might be someone had actually gave, given me another name. I can't remember right now, but I'm going to stick with Irish potato. Oh. Here in America, sometimes they're going to, oh, I don't know, oh, blah, 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 blah. But that is where it is grown, and that's the most popular place the potato is from. So just like petroleum jelly and the brand is Vaseline, where everyone know that Vaseline make petroleum jelly, they call it Vaseline. That is all with the Idaho potato. I don't know they see this, they like, oh, I don't know. No, it's potato. Anyway, so potato is good to use for dark under eye circles. That is why you see it everywhere. It really, really works. But you got to know how to prepare it, okay? You got to know how to prepare the potato. Now, potato, you can use it directly under your eyes, believe it or not. You can just peel that potato right now, cut it, and rub it under your eyes. And you can put it in the refrigerator, cut it in small cubes, and every night, and who want to challenge me on this? Just take a little piece and rub it under your eyes like that every night. It's going to work, okay? It's going to work. And keep it in the refrigerator because the catecholates. Now, we talk about the castor oil. And the castor oil get activated, the rinsalilic acid activated when you roast it. Well, with potato, it have this catecholase, which is activated when it is cold. So you put it that in the fridge, rub it under your eyes, works like a charm. Now, on our channel, we have a wide variety variety of ways that you can use the potato for your under eye circles. You juice it, you mix it with castor oil, sweet almond oil, you mix it with, you know, green tea and you just use it uh, with your cotton pads, place it over your eyes or you make some amazing serum, but don't shy away from using the potato because it is good for your under eyes. I just noticed the time, so I'm moving on and oh, I did have my aloe vera gel right here. As a matter of fact, this aloe vera gel that I have here is the first time actually using this particular brand. We're not selling any brand, okay? What I do, and this is not an endorsement, but I actually kind of like this one. And what I do, whenever you see me using these in these kind of bottles, and most of them, believe it or not, they make them in green bottles, even though when you look at the videos, they look like they are black bottles, but it's green bottles. And the other one I was using before this is green bottle too. Why I like these, these are the closest you're going to get to natural aloe vera gel. And let me show you something right here. Okay, I could pump this one. When you find aloe vera gel that is very, very glue um, jelly-like, 
is because of the in um, this particular ingredient that they add to it to give it that gel like consistency aloe vera gel is not that jelly okay now these are natural this one is like about 90 let me see how much percent um the honest truth on this bottle it says what okay 100 percent grown okay right here it comes 99 point and they write it right on the deer 99.75 percent natural the 25 percent is what they use to preserve it and look at this let me just pump it out right oopsie whoopsie it's it's have a little heavy pump and this is the one you notice that i'm using a lot um in my videos see that it's as close as possible to the real deal so my advice to you is that whenever you're looking for you see that this is it and that's just little 25 percent. this is very very watery line when we're making our serum on the channel and i use this one it might not come off as uh, attractive as you know selling point like you want people to watch the video so you need to be jelly like that it look like so real but i keep it real over here this one is, is or anyone that is at least i said at least 95 percent pure is what you get so that the extra five percent is just like preservative and it's not gonna be jelly 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 so i really prefer to use these kind and this one is is is, is kind of good now when you have your fresh aloe vera gel you use it you apply it when you get your your store bought you mix it with the other things to do like your overnight um eye cream or your eye serum or your eye gel definitely a must all right i'm gonna move on and you know I wasn't gonna leave without something like this. Now here I have some yogurt, guys. Okay, this is plain unsweetened yogurt, and some of you might not be aware of the fact that yogurt can help with puffy eyes, eye bags, and when you mix it with other ingredients, how to get rid of dark on the eye circles. When you buy your yogurt and you have that little scraping in the bottom, just take your finger, wipe it out, and use it to make something for your dark on the eye circles. It works like a charm, okay? Works like a charm. The recipe I'm gonna bring at the end of this video is gonna have a little bit of a yogurt in it. Now, if you do not have yogurt and you have like powder milk depend on where you live it could be milk powder then you can actually mix it you can mix a little bit of this yogurt with some aloe vera gel and some castor oil and make a overnight on the eye remedy and it's gonna help but you gotta use it regular for puffy eyes and eye bags your friend here is your friend over here dry on the eyes wrinkles under the eyes the yogurt however the problem with the yogurt is that when you make the remedy you got to use it up within two to three days because let's face it it's milk it's gonna go bad really really quick so you got to use it right away or two to three days you got to finish so you make a little teeny tiny batch of it and i one person told me once that oh when i make my remedies they so that i barely make anything and that is because i'm being realistic i'm not gonna make a big jug of something just to prove and to be throwing it it's gonna look good on camera to be honest if i make a big batch and pour it and stir it up probably get more views but it's not realistic because we're gonna throw it out because you can't finish all of that in 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 the short space of time so make those little batches sometimes it's not enough to blend in the blender but that's the way you go all right guys now i'm not gonna leave oh one more thing rose water if you have rose water use this to wipe your under eyes whether you have um dark under eye circles yes or no so after you wash your face before you apply your cream your serum and whatever it is i think i'm stuck on this this um, particular brand of rose water so what do you do you get your little rose water after you finish washing your face because someone was asking if you can use a toner under your eyes and i said just go ahead and use some rose water and then you use that rose water and you wipe your on the eyes i would wipe my eyes totally clean now but right after this show i gotta run out you know have some business to take care of so i'm not trying to go out there looking all shabby worse i haven't been outside you know like <laughs> two years like that anyway 
So use up your rose water to clean, not to clean, to hydrate your under eyes. And if you have to go, like you just wash your face, you are not wearing no makeup, you don't have any time for the remedy, wipe it with some rose water. And also use that rose water in your leave-on. You're mixing up that parsley, you're mixing up that potato, use the rose water in it. And or some green tea that is going to have. Now let's take a look. This oil I shared a while back on my channel. Now, um, the video I'm making, I'm sharing later on is going to have this oil. I use it as optional. And the reason why I use it as optional, I know most of you might not have this oil. But if you can get your hands on this oil, which is the kiwi oil, the kiwi oil is rich in the K vitamins. And here's another thing, guys. When you're doing your research out there for dark under eye circles, try to look for the vitamin K. Read up on vitamin K so that you know some of the ingredients that is rich in vitamin K. Because that is the best vitamin for your eye area. Okay, so make sure to get familiar with vitamin K. This is kiwi oil. Some of you might not be aware that kiwi have more vitamin C than orange. Okay. And it is also rich in vitamin K, which is the great vitamins for your under eyes. Now, this kiwi oil also have antibacterial and antimicrobial properties. It's a great oil to use in your DIY eye treatment and, you know, eye care period okay now i like to mix the kiwi oil with other oils to put under my eyes but you can actually use it just as is just a little dab of it just like we use the castor oil and just dab it under your eyes dabba 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 or you can mix it with your other ingredients very very good for puffy eyes wrinkles under the eyes very hydrating and guess what has this is good for your nails and your hair so if you can get your hands on that go ahead and get it now i also i brought don't come at me okay if any one of you out there <laughs> come at me for this banana okay it is a overripe banana okay a overripe banana and i know some of you will be like oh so you didn't eat the banana that's why you bring it here no i actually am saving the banana to make a recipe believe it or not because this is the best one a lot of you didn't know that a lot of you think that okay i'm making a banana recipe it looks so nice when i use a bright yellow banana but let's face it there's a crossover when it comes on to banana. The green banana is very, very stainy. We call it stainy back home. I don't know if that's the right word for it. And the ripe banana is the one that you're going to get the best moisturizer from and all of the, when this is um, overripe, it have this kind, well, I'm going to use the word fermented properties that is released. And that is why it's best to use an overripe banana in your homemade DIY. It don't look pretty, but it is best. If you put the banana, the regular ripe banana that's not overripe on your skin, it could darken your skin because it's rich in iron and all that iron from that we call it off right banana is going to be on your skin that is not good if you're looking to clear skin tag which is warts and mole on the skin an overripe banana peel is better than the regular i do use the yellow regular one before it gets to this stage because it looked good on the show but the honest truth this is the one for you the banana is gonna just blend it out mash it up put some kiwi oil in it some aloe vera gel a little bit of the sweet almond oil and just use it on under your eyes use that on the cotton pad you soak the cotton pad in it you fold it and then you just put it under your eyes like this and you just leave it there for you know however long you can this is gonna help with the dark on the eye circles the puffy eyes on the eye bags and the banana on a whole is good for your face your neck and your decollete it have to Put a little turmeric powder in it. How could I forget? Put a little turmeric powder. And you guys notice that I start using the white turmeric. The white turmeric is just as effective as the yellow turmeric. And it's less messy. Don't mess up your, um, you know, your sheet and all of that. But mix this banana with a little turmeric, a little bit of a rose water and aloe vera gel. Soak your cotton pad in it and put it under your eyes like that. And leave it on for a couple of minutes and rinse it off and do that as often as you can is going to have to get rid of the dark 
dark under eye circles, eye bags, and puffy eyes. So if you're just joining, what did you miss? What are the seven? In and also, guys, water, 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 water. Drink as much water as you can. And don't forget to sleep. <laughs> sleep, 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 sleep. At least six hours of sleep is going to also help. So water and sleep are two more things that you need to do to get your under eyes to look good. What did you miss if you just joined? We talk about castor oil. We share some sweet almond oil. We do coffee. We do potato. We do fresh and store-bought aloe vera gel. And we also do some banana, which is last minute. So that's my show today, but I'm going to spend the next seven minutes really chit-chatting with you guys and doing some announcement. Tomorrow is our Zoom. If you want to be a part of our Zoom, send your email or go on our Facebook page, Pretty Awesome Blossom. We're going to post the link there. I hope some of you turn out tomorrow. Like, you know, Claudia. Come on now, Claudia. You need to come back and watch the Zoom. Okay, so tomorrow is our Zoom. Check that out. Also, we post a video. The video I posted this morning with that green tea, if you guys didn't watch it, go watch it. That is good, okay? I'm telling you, that's a good recipe right there. Our also, we have Sunday show. Every Sunday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have our Sunday chit-chat. On Sunday chit-chat, we really chit-chat, like we chat, chat, chat. Now, um, Chichi, all banana we get is rotten before it gets right because of fertilizer. Okay, I, I could take you up on that, you know, because I know where that is coming from. I know I know exactly where that is coming from. And you know, sometimes it depends on depend. Like, you know, um it's depend on where you live and depend on where the banana is um is imported from. Like where I am, like, you know, when you get like banana from like Mexico and um, Honduras and some of these kind of places, the, some banana tastes better than, you know, you, I, you know what I mean. But if you really like me, I grew up where I could go in the backyard. The banana is ripe on the tree and one ripe on the bunch and we could just pick that one ripe one. And then my daddy would just go and just cut it and just hang it up outside in the backyard on a little tree and we go and pick whenever we feel like right banana uh, well anyway so claudia working i am sleeping when zoom is on oh i see what you mean all right so we are i'm gonna take some questions i have five minutes if you have not yet thumbs the video up guys go ahead give us a thumbs up Thumb it up, thumb it up, and show some love. Show some love. Benita, I teach you, you're beautiful. Thank you for start sharing wonderful tips for our skincare. Love you from India and love you right back. And Roxanne, amazing show today. Thank you for much information. Thank you for watching, Roxanne and um Talita. I kind of like that. Talita. Talita. Hello, Talita. I hope I pronounce it right. And who else is here? How many of you here watching from Guyana? If you're watching from Guyana, comment, comment, comment. All right. Um, let's see who else is here. You have a question for me. One more thing, guys. Before you click off, don't click off without thumbs in the video. Remember, that's how you show some love to the channel. Thumbs it up before you click off. I know the show is over, but give us a thumbs up on your way out. At least do that for the show. Let's get how much thumbs up we have, Claudia, because I can't see it from this end. If you have not yet thumbs up, we have about 50 people still watching for the four on my end. I don't know how much thumbs up we have so far, but before all of you click off, if you didn't give the video a thumbs up, a like, a emoji, something, go ahead and do that right now. Ivan is watching from Jamaica. Any question for me before I click? click off um comment right now because we're ending the show we're gonna be back on on sunday 4 30 p.m eastern standard time with our um um Jaren. okay so you're watching from guyana where in guyana are you watching from just curious i'm gonna be in guyana soon like shorts like in a few months i'm gonna be in guyana that's why i'm asking Yes, your girl is going to guy and I'm not Jamaica, right? Anyway, business, business, business. All right. So if you're from, watching from Guyana, I think I want to see, um, um, can't remember her name right now, but she's always on, on the, the, the Zoom. So I probably, I might arrange something. I don't know. I will see at work if I have time. All right. So we need to get this up to 
a hundred likes okay we need to get it to a hundred thumbs up 55 of you come on give me 25 more thumbs up right now do not click off without giving us some thumbs up guys and while your thumbs in the video up let me just run over really really quick the seven remedies the seven ingredients that we share come on guys keep going give us a thumbs up we share some banana of course overripe banana we do the potato Irish potato, white potato, keep the thumbs up going. We do some fresh aloe vera gel. We also do some coffee, freshly brewed coffee. Hi, Magdalene, how are you? We also do some sweet almond oil. We do some kiwi oil, and we also do some castor oil. We have a video coming up after the show that a recipe, oh, we do some yogurt also. Where did I put this yogurt? I thought I had it right here. Anyway, we also do some yogurt. We have a video coming up with a full detailed recipe that you can make and you can apply it under your eyes for your eye bags, puffy eyes, and also the wrinkles under your eyes. It's gonna post about two hours or so from now, so about five o'clock or so. So make sure you come back, watch it, and also share the video. If you wanna help the channel, you share the video on your Facebook page. That's all we ask you to do. Watch our video, like them, try them, make them, but share them on your social, especially one that you really like, you share it on your social media page so that others could see and come over and watch with us. Oh, or it is in month of, <laughs> you see, listen to me. You see how when your subscribers, you know, know your business, like <laughs> when they know your business too much, they come on, they even talk your birthday, they're like right out like that, right? Right out, all diodic subscriber, they know way too much, right? I'm not even going to take you on, um, Jermaine, um, not, uh, let me see if I could pronounce your name. I always say Jermaine. So it is uh, Jainerine. I'm still going to say Jermaine. <laughs> Jainerine or, um, Tell me if I pronounce it right. I know I used to have a group of you guys watching like my live show when I just started out. Like you would not miss a Sunday. And I always, always remember a full family of sing watching my videos and always come back from time to time to show some love. Um, Titi, you are my everything, my skin doctor. So proud of you. Ilda from Tanzania, home of the Kilimanjaro Mountain. That's something I would want. To, well. Let me not take, I'm probably too old to even attempt to go to the bottom of Kilimanjaro. I probably just need to be right, right at the entrance, take a picture and come back and say, yeah, it was right here. All right. So, um, that is my time today, guys. Have a great weekend. Inviting some of you over, um, Grace Dara. Hi, how are you? How many thumbs up? Don't forget to thumbs it up before you get off. Let's bring this up to 100. We need a few more. Thumbs it up on your way out. Be good to yourself. Love you guys. I have an appointment in um, an hour. So that is why I'm running. So um, talk about the catecholase. The cat All right, Jill, you see the last minute you're telling me I got to run. All right, but if I have the time, I'll probably bring another sad pop-up on Saturday. Yes um sunday i wish you all a happy valentine's and for those of you not coming um all over to the sunday chat happy valentine do something good for yourself it's valentine's and a lot of you sit and wait for people to do things for you but whether you have a valentine yes or no think about it you're gonna go spend all this money on other people like you know buying your significant other this that i'm not a valentine's girl to be honest with you i'm not a valentine's girl i'm the kind of girl that give gift right through the year like right throughout the year and that I, I don't like to be obligated and I don't like all I'm not gonna say holidays I don't like this gift giving thing where you're forced to like oh you gotta give a Christmas present you gotta give a birthday present you got I'm not like that okay but I know that like birthday is important and when it comes on to like Christmas I'm a you know I you know the festivity and all of that Valentine's is one holiday if you're with me don't look for nothing special. I always say my partner need to take care of Valentine's because I give give right throughout the year. I'm the type of person, I just randomly see something there. Oh, my partner would like this. I'm buying it, whether it is Valentine, yes or no. So when those special days like Valentine's come around, if I don't give you anything, I'm good because I'm always giving. So 
as I said, <laughs> I'm not the Valentine person, but if you guys want to send me some Valentine's gift, anyway, I'm joking where that is concerned. But what I'm saying, take this Valentine's Day to do something for yourself, okay? You buy somebody something, buy something for yourself too. All right, guys, my time is up. I'm getting out of here before I get late to my appointment. Love you all. Be good to yourself. 79 like, make this 80 like, make. I need 11 likes right now, guys. 11 thumbs up. For those of you who do not know how to thumbs it up, I need 11 of you right now to thumbs the video up. Count for me, Claudia. Come on, guys. Give the Let's get out of here with 100 thumbs up. I got to go and I need 100 thumbs up. Go ahead. Give the video a thumbs up. Right below the video, you're going to see a little and like this go hop. And the other one go down. Click on the one hop. I um, can't see the thumbs up because I'm using StreamYard. So go ahead. Give it a thumbs up right now. We need 11. 11. Come on. 11 of you can thumbs it up that you have not yet thumbs up already so that I can get about my business. Go ahead, guys. Give it a thumbs up. We need about seven more. <laughs> I can't see. I'm just winging it. We need about seven more. So why are I if you just join in? Just for you to give us a thumbs up. We talk about aloe vera gel. We need, oh, why was I saying that we need 11? We need like 18. Come on, guys. Give us, all right. It looks like we're not going to get it because nobody's giving the thumbs up. But anyway. We talk about aloe vera gel, we talk about banana, we talk about potato, we talk about castor oil, we talk about kiwi oil, we also talk about, um, what is this one now? Coffee, we talk about um, aloe vera gel, I did mention that before, and yogurt. So that is what we talk about today. These are the things that can give you clear, clean under eyes. Love you guys, and I am out of here because I'm going to be late. Be good to yourself, and I see you on Sunday. On your way out, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Love you all, be good, take care.